This is the fourth annual symposium on regenerative medicine at the Mayo Clinic, and we are here joined by Dr. Nathan Lebrasor, who is a member of the, the Department of Physical Medicine Rehabilitation and also an important member of the Calgary uh, Center for Aging at the Mayo Clinic. And uh, Dr. Uh, Lebrasor gave a wonderful presentation this morning where he discussed uh, aging and muscle. And I would like if he can give us a summary of his presentation. Yeah, thanks, Carmen. So um, it's a fantastic symposium, and I had the opportunity to talk about our work uh, and our interest in muscle, really from the perspective of aging. So uh, we believe that there may be fundamental underpinnings to diseases like sarcopenia, which is the age-related loss of muscle, and other conditions that most of us are very familiar with, like Alzheimer's disease or osteoporosis. And our work has really led us down this path of understanding a process called cellular senescence. And senescence is really a state in which cells stop dividing and they come, become very toxic to the tissues that they're living in because of the factors that they secrete. And we think this may have implications for muscle, particularly muscle regeneration, because during that regenerative process, cells need to divide in a healthy environment. And, and these senescent cells, instead, not only do they not divide because they're in a state of stable growth arrest, but they secrete factors that probably prohibit uh, regenerative capacity of different tissues, including muscle. This is a very exciting new area of investigation, and I know, and I, as you have commented before, that uh, you are ready to start a clinical trial where manipulating or controlling sarcopenia may have a huge effect on, on uh, aging. Can you comment about that? Yeah, that's well? right. Yeah, so we're actively engaged in a multi-center clinical trial looking at ways to improve muscle health to um, enhance the physical function in late life, and uh, we're hopeful it'll also impact things like metabolism and frailty in older persons. This is a great, so we're not going only to live longer, but very active. That's right, <laughs> health span. Hit the wall running, so that's great. Thank you, Nathan, for joining us, and uh, we were very happy to have you as a part of the faculty in this symposium. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.